What's going on guys, it's Madman Plant. We're back in the lab and we're gonna take that giant monster over there and we're gonna repot it. Now I just have some random soil. There's no real reason why I chose this soil. It was just at the grow shop and we decided. So we're gonna take some soil, some worm castings, mix it up, repot that monster. Let's get to it. All right, first thing we're gonna do is get a tub or something to mix it in. I also have a tarp on the floor to save up the hassle of getting the carpet dirty and having to mush in. So, First, what we're going to do is real simple. We're just going to empty all of our contents, or in this case, all of our soils, into this bin. And then this soil will also be for this side as well. We were doing cocoa, but we asked you guys what you guys wanted to see, and a lot of people said soil. And, you know, going back to the original of organic. And we couldn't be happier to do that with you guys. So that's one. I really like this bag of the worm castings mainly because that looks like the character design that we did for big worm organics when we did his logo for his bagging very similar worm type so it means this worm have a great good mind stick of light type deal in the organic world worm castings are your secret weapon so we're gonna go ahead and mix this up real quick on really good worm castings I've actually found live worms inside the casting, so pretty good. And you know, this is all talking about that alive inside, you know, all those nutrients. We have organic soil, healthy, and that's what we're looking for, is those easy inputs, making your gardening simple, easier, more fun, so you can spend time with your plants and less time worrying about them. So, a little backstory, this plant came into this house this size. And that's the power of the gardening and really paying attention to your plans and knowing the inputs. Look at this, this thing is huge. It came in to this house the size of this, all right? These plants are awesome and they just have a life of their own and they do so much, you know, and provide so much awesome value and just aesthetic to your, your garden, your life, everything. So what we're gonna do is, this should be pretty simple. We're gonna take this from a three gallon and we're gonna put that in the 10 gallon. So the first thing we're gonna do, that's why I have the tarp at the bottom, is we're gonna go ahead and build our base. We wanna get this filled up. As you can see where the plant is and how the plant's designed, it has a 90 degree angle. So those roots are called aerial roots. So they spread out, they can go into the air, they go straight into the dirt. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna bury this in there at an angle and really let this kind of reset and let those roots that are exposed now really dive deep into this soil. Because it's a three gallon, we're gonna have to do most of the filling up here um, on the table. And boy, am I glad that I put down that tarp. You know, that can save you a lot of time and hassle and cleanup, and it just makes things a little bit easier for that resale value. Should be good. All right, let's see what we can do here. Take this plant. And it's good that the soil is a little bit dry, it makes it easier. And let's go see if we can just pull this out by trying not to break. Oh, wow, okay. Me and my mad, I'm gonna have to jerk this thing out, but it's finally out. But take a look at this, dude. Look at this root system. Look at that. And that's why this thing seriously needs to be repotted. But look at this thing. How fucking cool is this shit, dude? Look at that, an internal network of all just roots. And let's see how it fits in its new home. Now remember, I told you we're gonna plant it a little bit sideways like this so the plant can grow up with that natural 90. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and support this. And what we'll do, give me a second. Oh, this should work good. And that's what we want, we want it's gonna be planted weird, and if you can, you can't see it in here, but it's actually planted like this way, like the Leaning Tower of Pisa right now. And um, now we're gonna go ahead and bury this, and this will allow this thing to want grow up a little bit easier, and all those lines will be free and clear. Work smart, not hard, my dudes. And that, my ladies and gentlemen. Ah is how you plant it. So we planted it sideways in there so it would stand up straight because I want this to go up instead of continue to bend over. Plus we have that hard angle right here. 
But this thing is awesome. If you saw those roots, I mean, this is what we're dealing with. These plants are incredible. And the way they design themselves, weave in and out of themselves, and build those tunnels of just root systems, it's just incredible. So I love this plant. This is one of the coolest plants I've had. I had this, like I said, from when it was a very small plant. So now to watch this grow and come up, it's just gonna be super, super cool. And we got more shoots coming out of the bottom. This is thing is gonna maybe get too big for this room. What you guys think? I don't know. But we're gonna see you guys next time at Madman Plant. Thanks for joining me as I potted the monster. We'll see you guys soon.